Hey, this is Mark with The Practical Still. It's time to open up another bottle. And I haven't had a barrel-proof Jack Daniels store pick in quite a while. This one came from Hazel's in Boulder, Colorado. Handpicked in Lynchburg by Max. They are the spirit manager at, uh, at Hazel's. I'm pretty excited to open it. These are typically quite hot. Uh, they get names from the little whiskey clubs like Blast Furnace and that kind of stuff. But unlike something like a 1792 foolproof which is just hot and frankly i don't ever think they taste good this one these typically have a ton of really good flavor to them so it's worth the heat pretty bottles i never understand the neck tag things they rattle around they fall off when you pour um you know it's cute it's a little barrel and it's got hazel's name on it uh, but i don't do anything with those and as we know we've discussed plenty i like tennessee whiskey i'm a jack daniels fan i am a dickel fan various other tennessee whiskeys like leaper's fork some of the nelson's greenbrier stuff i like it and like i said these barrel proof picks typically super hot when they're at, at uh, barrel strength uh, although they do 47% um, store picks that, you know, aren't so hot. That smells delicious. Almonds and... I don't know, that's nutty. Mmm, good. I'm going to use the last cut crystal Dan pour glass. I'm not going to Dan pour since it's the middle of the day. This one comes in at... 64.95% alcohol by volume. So just shy of 130 proof. It has details uh, Barrel House 2 01. Got the master distiller's name, the barrel number 23230026, and the bottling date is 62723. So we don't really know how old it is. These typically I don't think are that old, maybe you know, five, six, seven years old, but I don't really know. That's delicious. It still carries that nuttiness over. This is a caramel to it. Mm, that's delicious. It is a little hot, but I would call it more, uh, more prickly. Not super hot. Some of these can be quite hot. The nose, the alcohol in the nose is more prominent. This is one you want to pour and leave on the counter for... 20, 30 minutes before you drink it. Let some of the alcohol come off of it. That's definitely one that's going to benefit from being open for a while. It's quite good now. It's got an excellent mouthfeel. Quite viscous. Mm, just oranges. Candied oranges. Mm, that's quite good. Now, you can leave it on the counter for a while, but a similar effect could be had from a little drop of water. I don't think the water really tamps the heat much. <clears throat> Not that little bit. It kind of flattens the top of it off. I like the brightness of it. Neat. I'll play with that some more. Well, that's quite tasty. It's uh, it's as is, is, uh, good as those usually are. They're quite tasty. It is warm. But, like I said, it's heat with the promise of and the fulfill fulfilled promise of flavor under it. So, I think I paid $70 for that. I think these are available in lots of parts of the country. Uh, they're a little unique. You don't get a lot of stuff from Jack Daniels that's proofier. Um, so when you see these, uh, support your local store. 
and uh, do something a little different and try out the Jack Daniels Barrel Proofs. And if you're in uh, Boulder, I don't know if there's any of these left. I just got it, but uh, stop in at Hazel's and pick one up if they're still there and tell Max I said hello.